today's. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a good week so far. Um, I'm here with like a really fast get ready with me because I actually have to get ready really fast, but I really want to film this makeup look because I think it's going to be really fun and like holiday-y because I just, I have a vision. I have a vision. So hopefully it turns out the way I want it to. Um, like I said, this is going to be a really fast get ready with me. Not as fast as my previous video, which is just something that I did, um, like sped up and then I put music behind it. That was because I didn't have time to do voiceover because I was in the middle of finals. I was in the middle of finals. <laughs> so obviously you understand I didn't have time to do all of the like fun editing stuff. I just stuck it on fast forward and put music behind it. And that's not a permanent editing style. I just figured I would do that for the time being just so I could get a video up. But now I'm actually going to kind of talk through some stuff. Oh, this is the wrong palette. Um, I'm just going to talk you guys through everything that I'm doing and I quickly just wanted to say that I know that I wanted to film like a travel video but unfortunately all of our trips for winter break have been cancelled because we're dealing with some uh, family emergencies and so we want to stay here at home so we can be close to our family but we are going for a weekend trip somewhere and so I wanted to quickly show you guys how I pack my makeup. So basically all I have are these two bags right here. These have my brushes and these have all of my makeup and this will last me for a good two or three days. And so um, I will be using every single thing in here. So I'll show you guys what's inside and that'll help you guys kind of understand what's going on. But yeah, this contains all my brushes. They're really not that many, um, but these are like my essential brushes and then I'll carry some brush cleaner with me so that I can just, whoops. I can just clean them as I go so that I don't have to carry a ton of brushes with me. But again, it's just like, it's two small bags that I can fit in my luggage. This isn't carry on friendly. I don't think maybe it is. Um, I'll double check that. Um, but our weekend trip is not going to be a flying event. It's just, um, it's a road trip. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have all my stuff in here. So, um, I'm going to kind of unpack and then repack. So it's fine. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my skin. I need my makeup to last all day because I, it's like, how, what time is it right now? It's 11.45, we're gonna be leaving soon and then we're gonna get there at around 4.35 and then I have a party to go to like right after we get there. I don't have time to change or touch up my makeup so this really needs to stay all day. So I'm gonna be using my Makeup Forever Step 1 mattifying primer on my T-zone so that I don't have any, um, oiliness and I don't want to blot anything. This is going to keep me nice and matte right here. Because my skin has some like kind of gross dry patches, I'm going to use my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer to go over, whoops, to go over those dry patches so that um, my foundation just glides right on. This is a silicone based primer, so it's really going to create a smooth canvas for me to put my foundation over. So now I'm going to do my face. I'm going to be using the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. This is like I'm one of my favorites of all time. I'm just gonna take dots of this all over my face and I'm gonna work it into my skin with a uh, Real Techniques buffing brush. And I'm not doing a thick layer, I'm just doing kind of a thin layer because I don't want my coverage to be too heavy. I just wanna even out my skin tone a little bit. Now I'm gonna let that sit on my face for a little bit and I'm going to move on to doing my eyes. So I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And now I'm gonna set it with a powder. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder. And I'm just gonna use this to set my eyelids. And I'm gonna go into my little condensed Z palette right here and I'm gonna pick up this Makeup Forever um, Artist Shadow in the color Cinnamon and I'm gonna run this in my crease. This eye look is only gonna take three eyeshadows. Executive decision, three eyeshadows. I'm just going to run this very loosely in my crease to give some definition. And now I'm going to pick up a Morphe M513 brush and I'm going to grab Max Embark eyeshadow, which is a super dark brown. And I'm going to stick this in my outer crease really precisely. I will continuously build up the outer corner until it's as dark as I want it to be. And now to get rid of any choppiness, I'm going to go back in with my Morphe M511 brush that I picked up the cinnamon eyeshadow with, but I'm not going to put any more product in my brush. I'm just going to run over my entire crease 
I go back in one more time with Max Embark eyeshadow and just press it right here. And then go back in with this and just lightly sweep over that area. And then I'm gonna walk away. Not actually, you know what I mean. All right, now for my lid color, I'm gonna be using NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in the color Himalaya. It's like a beautiful kind of like warmish, it's not really warm. It's like a neutral taupey silver brown. It's really pretty, you'll see exactly what I mean in a sec. Um, I'm gonna grab my MAC 242 brush and I'm gonna grab some Fix Plus. I'm gonna wet my brush and then I'm gonna take some, you can see I've already made like a dent in it because I love this color so much. I've been wearing it like nonstop all over my lids. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna press it on my lids. This shadow is so beautiful and so wearable for so many skin tones in my opinion. So a very fair skinned person can get away with this and a very dark skinned person, this would look so beautiful. All right, so we're done with the lids. I'm just gonna grab my uh, fluffy brush again and just kind of go in the crease to diffuse any harsh lines. Boom, eyes done. That was really easy, right? Only three eyeshadows. Um, I'm gonna do my brows now. I just, I'm gonna use my Anastasia brow was just to fill in the bottom and make it a little more defined. And I am completely out of brow gel, so I will not be using any brow gel. Um, before I do my concealer on my um, under eyes, I'm gonna fill in my waterline with my Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner. This looks really funny right now, but we'll fix it later. I'm gonna do my brow highlight. I'm gonna take the other side of my 242. There's a clean side and a dirty side. I'm gonna take the clean side and grab some MAC Nylon eyeshadow and I'm gonna pop it right here. Whoa, that's really frosty, whoops. And I'm gonna do the rest of my face. I'm gonna do a cream contour with my Maybelline Fit Me uh, concealer stick. Actually, this is a foundation stick. I'm um, in the color 330. I'm just gonna draw a line like that. And I'm gonna blend that out with the same buffing brush that I used. This just gives a really natural looking contour in my opinion. Um, it doesn't look like I contoured too hard. And I kind of wanted this look to be softer and not as sculpted. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm gonna do my under eyes and also my like normal highlighting. All right, so I'm gonna be doing my concealer with two different concealers, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes because this has a lot of pigment. Also put on the tip of my nose because I'm breaking out. Um, and then I'm gonna grab this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and use this to highlight my face. I'm gonna make a triangle underneath my eyes. Why do I feel like I'm running out? On my chin my cupid's bow, and then underneath my contour. And then I'm going to use my damp beauty blender to blend all this out. Now to set everything, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder for under my eyes, and I'm also gonna set my entire face because I want the eyes to be the only dramatic sparkly thing about this look. Not that my face is sparkly, but like, you know what I mean? I don't want my face to be dewy. I want it to be kind of more matte slash satin. Um, I wanna warm up my face a teensy bit, so I'm gonna use my little travel size Chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced. And I'm gonna grab this on my, on just the same brush that I used to just uh, put powder all over my face. I'm gonna grab some of this and apply it on my temples, right? Or not my temples, my cheekbones to warm up my face. Oh, that's so much better. It's like I look like a ghost. This bronzer smells so good. 
Now for blush, I'm gonna be using this little baby uh, NARS Orgasm blush. Look at how small it is, it's so small. <laughs> but I'm gonna take this on a Morphe M405 brush and dust this on the apples of my cheeks. And I like that this blush has a little bit of a sheen in it because um, since my face is so matte, I feel like I need a little bit of something to bring some color, uh, not some color, but some vibrancy back into my face. Now for a highlight, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier 01 highlight. Um, and I'm going to take this on a Morphe M501 brush. And yes, guys, the hype is real. The Morphe M501 is one of the best brushes of all time to apply your highlight. I don't know where mine went. Here it is. <laughs> the Morphe M501 brush is just as good as everyone says it is. Like, it is such a phenomenal brush to highlight your cheekbones with. I highly recommend it. Now that I am highlighted to the heavens, um, I'm gonna move on to doing my lower lash line. I'm gonna take an angled brush and I'm gonna grab that same MAC Embark eyeshadow. I'm gonna press this on the outer half of my lower lash line. And then using an Urban Decay pencil brush, but any pencil brush will do, I'm gonna pick up the Cinnamon eyeshadow from Makeup Forever and I'm gonna start buffing out my lower lash line. So you can really play around with how dark you want your lower lash line. I could have brought the Embark eyeshadow all the way to my inner corner instead of stopping like right around here and then just dragging whatever's left over my brush over. Or you could even use a nude eyeliner in the waterline instead of doing a black liner. You could leave your waterline blank, you can put a gold, like you can really play with this look like however you want. But I like the way it is right now, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is. And now I'm going to do my mascara. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational on my lower lashes. Um, for my upper lashes, I'm going to be using a different mascara. I know, I'm really high maintenance. <laughs> this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I was going to do Falsies, Hydrangea Beauty's Fox Lashes, but I just, I don't have time to sit around and do Falsies, so we're just going to quickly mascara. Alright, so boom, mascara done. I really like this mascara, actually. This is a very good one. So all that's left now are lips. I'm going to be using Max Whirl Lip Liner to just outline my lips and then fill them in completely. All right, so this look is complete. I'm just gonna sort out my hair really fast and then give myself a quick bath in Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this look is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending this time with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more holiday looks, give this video a thumbs up and I'll definitely film those for you. Um, but yeah, until then, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you then. Bye. Did you see my tree? My tree, right there, there's a little tree. It's festive. <laughs> also, I just quickly want to mention this, but um, Balenciaga Flora Botanica, oh my gosh, it is like really rocking my world. If you guys saw my October favorites video, I think I mentioned the rollerball of this. I committed, I bought a full size, I am so thrilled. This is like my new signature scent. Like I'm gonna talk about this in my Best of Beauty 2015 video, but just like get a sample of this and smell it. It's like, it's it's still kind of fresh, but it's a little more earthy. It's a little more, not musky, but like spicy. And it's just, it's more of a mature scent. So I wear this now and it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's not for everyone, but I really, really love this scent. I'm so excited because I have a New Year's Eve tutorial um, coming up very soon. I bought some glitter and I'm like, yes, I'm ready. Um, <laughs> that coming up and then I have my Best of Beauty 2015 video, which is going to be a long one. I'll try and shorten it and condense it as much as possible, but I tend to ramble. I have a lot to talk about, so it's happening.